everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon's Monsters of Avalon by Awakened Realms. So, this was one of the things that came in the first wave of the Kickstarter for Tainted Grail. It is literally nothing but miniatures for the various monsters. This is a completely optional and unnecessary thing, and they've been do and they also did this for their following Kickstarter, Etherfields. I'll be getting those too. Don't know if they'll be doing that with their then following that Kickstarter, which launches tomorrow at the time of recording this, of the Great Wall. Don't know if I'm interested in that. Love the theme, but yeah. So, this was originally, hey, this is here in the core game box because it was a shipping box. But now it's this. So, first off, it comes with a nice little piece of paper to show what it looks like full. I don't know if that's meant for us, the consumer, or if it's meant for packaging. Because on the other side, it's also the tray blank. I have no idea why. I want to be all mysterious and not make it look blank when people open it so they don't steal them or something. I don't know. Oh, these are gorgeous. So, again, these are... All nothing but miniatures. There is no mechanics in here, no rules, nothing hidden under the tray. Like, I'm surprised there was even that sheet. Because a lot of these are also very distinctive of where they go. There are no duplicate miniatures in here, although it there seems to be multiples of the same thing. They're just posed differently. Uh, in fact, I'll start off with those two. We've got, oh, nope, I can already see the difference. So I'll put that back and just start with what I was going to. First, we've got this necrotic deer-shaped thing, or elk, I don't know, but it is mo a lot of bones, like, there are skulls coming out of here, the antlers are, look like gnarled wood, you can see its ribs, like, its legs are pretty much the only things that are not necrotic. Then we've got an old dude on... I'm guessing a undead horse because it already has something impaled on it and it looks similar to the previous miniature. Uh, then we got, oh, this thing is gorgeous. Gives me off a very death vibe. It's got, um, honestly, it's got a, uh, a similar look to the Magus Bride skull face character. Still need to watch or read that. Then we've got a headless horseman who looks to have his or a spine as a whip weapon with as much as it's hard to tell. That's a skull on the end. Possibly his own for all we know. And this one, this horse doesn't look so much necrotic as it looks like it's infected with something. Or wrapped around a bunch of vines. It also has spikes on the ends of its hooves. Or front rail. Oop. I don't want to fit back in. <laughs> I'm already might need that thing. Eh, regardless, I'll figure that out on my own time. Then we've got this. Oh, definitely more necrotic stuff. But it's got a small child and it's hands, kind of like a lap, and then just a bunch of bones making up that thing on its back. Then the two that I thought were the same. We've got what looks to be a hydra. No, that's a, well, it might be a hydra, but it's a multi-headed sandworm kind of thing. Reminds me of the hydra from the Scorn army in Hordes, for a Hordes war machine. Then what is clearly the same type of creature, but just might be a single-headed one. So you can see the head in more detail there. And a lot of these have, like, their own unique, like, terrain-style bases. Ugh. Ow, that one stung a bit. Then we've got three duders with two with axes and one with a spear. And then there's a bunch of hands coming out of the ground. And they all have cloaks that mesh together and a giant thing in the back. Then we've got what I'm going to assume is a siren. Like, that looks like a siren. 
pretty lady, big giant monster. One and the same. Like, it, it, it is... The, the lady is its tongue. Then we've got a undead wolf kind of thing, or very sickly at the very least. But its ribs and spine are just poking right through. And another canine like creature. This one looks semi undeadish, although possibly just heavily injured and in armored. God, these are gorgeous. Bear thing with six legs and rocks coming out of its back. Yeah. A bird that has multiple weapons in it. Clearly meant to be really big because this is still easily twice the size of a normal size thing. I have no idea. I, I'm guessing a evil wood spirit or something like that. Maybe just a normal wood spirit. Then this four-armed guy who's got a staff behind him, a person in the other arm, and then the two arms in the front holding a sword. But that's more clearly a staff from that angle. This bat demon thing, which I won't be surprised because of the the overarching things, is actually their more uh, their own internal reference to the intruders from Nemesis. Let me get to some more normal sized things, although this is still a little larger. This spooky looking crawling thing that that's a head on the end. What my guess is an angry mom or bandits. Three normal sized people looking all angry. Assuming a witch. Won't be surprised if it's literally Morgana. But I would assume she would have a raven then. And lastly, we've got a night duder who is actually normal size, just like the witch was. Alright, that's everything. Like I said, it's literally just miniatures. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to see any of this painted earlier than I would get to it normally, that is. Or if you'd like to see anything involving Tainted Grail, be it board game overviews, how to plays, let's plays, reviews, or anything else from Awakened Realms, which right now is all of Nemesis, because that arrived not too long ago. Or if you just want to comment in general, feel free to. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, and anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.